Close to the champion bumper, and in my opinion, anyone who manages to bat the winner of the champion bumper deserves more than just their winnings. Um, it's probably the only race of the week I try and avoid. Um, I know, Harry, you um, had a couple of options of horses you could have sent. Options? Nah. No? <laughs> Option? Oh, I just couldn't do it to a young horse, you know? Yeah, well, that's what I was going to ask you about. I mean, what, I what's really from a trainer's just, point of view? You know, I got one, Animoir. He won at Huntington really, really nicely. He's a lovely, lovely horse. He's got a great mind. I mean, if there was a re- horse that you would run in it, it would be Animar because he's so laid back and he's, he's an absolute dude of a horse. Um, uh, you know, he's so straightforward. Um, but um, I just can't do it to him. He's a lovely, big, rangy type. He's going to jump fences one day, which is um, unusual with his pedigree being a half-brother to um, uh, Loren, who was obviously a top two-year-old this, this winter and won the Phillies Mar. But he... Um, yeah, I, I, it's for me. It's you know, it, it can ruin good, nice young horses. So I don't have any interest. We've in spoken before about how you know you see a lot of horses who win this race not go on to much, and you see yeah, horses exactly. run down the field. So it's not really a great barometer. Cue card did all right, man. Cue card. Well, that's well. exactly what I said. <laughs> exactly. When we spoke about it, <laughs> you saw my line. Um, um, Mike, anything catching your eye here? No. Not. You're, you're, you're on my page with the uh, hmm. avoidance. Um, and I, I like the look of Jamie Snowden's horse, um, the Arakan, I can't remember what it's called. I thought that was so impressive at Warwick. Wow. And mm. the Nick Gifford horse did well as well. Asker. And then Nick's horse is yeah. very, he's very good, isn't he? He won the listed race, didn't yeah. he? And AC Milan and with a, Honey Balls, that's another one. AC Milan, yeah, oh, yeah 10 yeah. to 1, that is. She could be a good race, five. couldn't it? Yeah. We're going to go through them all. Yeah. And just yeah. before we move on to the naps, Andy, you put up Rhinestone. Yeah, um, obviously, the, the, my time figures lead me down the right path in this race because bumpers are intrinsically slowly run events and yeah. they, who can quicken at the end. So I tend to concentrate on the ones who have done good numbers. So I think I've got a reasonable idea of where we stand here. I actually backed claiming taking Fulgan in this race last year because uh, he'd done a big number at Doncaster and he finished fourth, was it? So fourth or fifth, I, wasn't yeah, it? I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't a million miles away. Um, the, the, the best bumper in Ireland this season by a mile was the race at Leopardstown on the Leopardstown two-day festival. It was won by Blackbow. Um, he beat a very good field. They looked fantastic in the paddock and I was hoping that Rhinestone would run well and back up his thirdless time figure. And I came away from that race that day thinking... I was even more impressed with him in getting beat. Um, he just got out, not outpaced, but he got tactically done by Paddy Mullins on Blackbow, who kicked off the bend at Leopardstown. He just got three or four lengths, and then Rhinestone for the last two furlongs was getting him, getting him slowly, getting him slowly. Um, but he just couldn't make the ground up on that really heavy ground because the winner's a bigger, stronger type. But I think on better ground, Rhinestone will turn the form around. He's a lovely type, a proper athlete. Nine to one he is, yeah. He's but, still uh, a really good prize. I, I'd be amazed if he wasn't in the first four. Uh, of the English, um, I wouldn't be as keen on the Gifford horse as I would be several others, okay. um, just because he hasn't done a number yet. And I, the horse of, and we talked about him off air, didn't we, beforehand, of, of Fergal O'Brien's. Yeah. Time to move on. I'm getting the vibes that that horse might not run because I think they still think he's a bit raw, he's a bit of a baby, and he might not necessarily have the mental capacity to win a race like that. But rest assured, he's probably, what, pound for pound, one of the most talented horses in the race if he does run. Uh, but even if he doesn't, follow him, because I think he'll be a serious tour going down the line. 16 to 1 still available there for time to move on in the champion bumper. We-